to Hornby Wood Hedgehog Sanctuary. This is an, a voice overlay because I'm not very good at editing. This video is a bit longer than I expected it to be. Unfortunately, I wanted to condense it down and cut bits out, but I'm used to the video editing. So you're going to get the whole um, spiel from beginning to end. This is a, um, a hedgehog house that I built out of recycled decking material um, and also donated felt. Um, as far as the size goes, you'll see me doing the measurements going through the, the actual uh, video. I'm going to be doing um, like a, a PDF sort of um, design sheet of this so you can download it and make it yourself as well. Uh, I'll try and put a link in the description with the, um, the location of that PDF file so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to. The, uh, there are bits in here what I do say a couple of swear words I'm sorry <laughs> um, I made a few mistakes because this video isn't planned I didn't have anything I just thought alright I'm going to make a hedgehog house out of this recycled material. There are some very kind volunteers that said they want to help me make hedgehog houses so I thought right I would do a quick video to show them what I'm thinking about and then they can use that as a template whether they use it or not is up to them. So this is um it works out right at the end, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's really simple, cheap. If you're ripping out your decking, keep your decking boards because you can actually make this out of deck old deckings um, and all the rest of it. So uh, Fern is in the video. She's not helping me, unfortunately, but she is in the, in the way, which is fantastic. But, yeah, enjoy the video. Uh, fast forward, double speed to the parts that are obviously boring, whatever else. But, um, yeah, in, enjoy. Um, thanks very much. Bye. Hello, welcome to Hornbywood Hedgehog Sanctuary. Right, today um, we're going to be making a hedgehog house. Uh, this is out of scrap wood, actually. Um, decking boards. So it's a decking board hedgehog house. Um, hopefully we've got enough here, we should have. Uh, these were all kindly donated to us um, by local builders. And the roof will be felt, also kindly donated to us. Bits and bobs we're going to be using. I'm winging this. I don't really have any plans. It's all in my head. But what I'll do afterwards is I'll um, I'll try and put a plan together so you can recreate this. But Fern won't be giving me a hand. Will you, Fern? No. But you'll be in the way, which would be great. So some of this video will be fast-forwarded. Some of it won't be. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and edit it slightly afterwards. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right, Fern. Let's get started. Okay. Probably not going to talk much through this, but we'll see. First off, what do we need? Pencil. Okay. That's 40. Fern. 40 so there's a lot of these I've got nails and screws in if they do I'll bang them out in a minute but I'm just cutting a, a rough a rough size to it so there's nails here I want 40 at the bottom of it Okay, so that's kind of floor. Let's see how we're doing here. We're 43 by 40 ish. Okay, so let's do the sides 43. 43 mm. this is a speed build I guess I'm trying to get this in <clears throat> within the time the video the camera has on battery so Okay. 
going? Where's the phone going? Let's get this one. One more. These are all boards, so they're full of nails, screws, 43. It's a lot of wastage on here, but I'm going to reuse this. It won't be entirely wasted. It's just what the size of the boards come in. They're all being ripped off from an old decking. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's the bottom. It's the top. So, we need next. The easiest way to do this, I think, is to put the sides. Why is that? We've got something here. I have the rough side inside. Or should I have that at the bottom? No, I'm going to have that at the bottom. Like that. The idea is... Let's go on the roof. Like so. Ish. It's pretty good. And we need three sides to it. So I can either use this wood on here and here and then put a slightly smaller bit on the back there that might make more sense yeah it might make more sense I'm winging this so let's do this Something like This is probably the most awkward bit is getting this in here and I think the best way of me doing this to be honest with you is to put the whole lot up like that put the first one in Probably an easy way of doing this, but I'm going to do it this way. Good. Let's put this board like that. Like so.
this one too big. That can go on there like that. Be right. 34. 34. And 34 here. We should probably get a nice straight edge to this, but I'm guesstimating. Okay, so that's one side. It's pretty tight. Pretty good. It's got a bit of a gap at the bottom. That'll be right. Okay. That, that, and that. Right now, let's use some of these off cuts because what we want is we want a <clears throat> about 13, 14 centimeter hole here. So it's something like this. Should have got another battery, shouldn't I? That would have been a bit better, but maybe I'll do it in a minute. Okay. Let's take this off. I think we need probably four more screws. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Let's do one at the bottom. Yeah. It's pretty 
very good. Pretty solid house. <clears throat> Mitchell comes in here, around here, nice little bed. Oh, we need a roof. We need a roof now. Uh, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. 43, let's do more of them. That is 43, isn't it? Yeah. Do this. 43. How's it going, Fern? This is a speed build. I reckon we can do this pretty quick. <clears throat> Forty three is here. Those nails are in the way. Okay. Forty three, forty three, forty three. That's pretty good. So, there's a slight overhang on this side, but there's not on the front and back. It doesn't really matter. Unless I did it the other way, then if I did it the other way, it would be completely square. And there's still an overhang, so this is a much better way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Put this in here, this in here. Let's get a few of these. One, two. Screw this in. And two at the end. I might actually put one more here. Yeah, it's a bit overkill, but. No 
problem. I could put one in the middle there as well. That. Okay. There's no plan to this. <laughs> it's just out of my head, really. Which one that didn't go through? No. Let's put one screw in here. Perfect. Now, with this one, you need to be able to clean it. Get your hands in there. So I'm wondering, with this one, do we make it so it's open or do we care? Do we care? Hmm. Think. Good if there was two joints here. It would have been better if I put joints here. That would have been better, wouldn't it? If I let this flap up. But we might still be able to do that. We might still be able to do that. So this is what happens when you don't think uh, in the beginning. It doesn't really matter, but you need to clean it out, and you're not going to get your hand in there. But I think we should make this. A swivel. Yeah, let's make that a swivel. And I'm going to do it top down yeah let's just see if I can actually that actually works top down because it might swing on this I didn't screw anywhere along there interesting so just a bit it's a bit tight in the bottom but it does kind of work it does kind of work that looks like it will work the only thing with this is it going to get it will hit that I might have to chop a little bit off of this. It looks pretty good there. And you can get your get your hand in there. And we need a, a handle on here. So let's chop a little bit off that. So it doesn't catch on the top. And then use a handle here. And then you can open it up like this. Yeah, so it needs a little bit off this. Not much. Let's see if I can wing it. See if I can wing it. Let's have a look here. Let's adjust this. Okay. 
that's right at the bottom. I hope that works. It just needs a bit of the corner. That's all it needs. Okay, let's keep trying this. Just try it. I might mess this up entirely. Should should stop it. I reckon that's good. Let's just shave a little bit off that because it might be a bit tight on there. Good. Well, that might have worked out just well. <laughs> that might have worked out just fine. I hadn't really planned on doing that, but there you go. That might work out just fine. Right, for now I'm going to put a screw in here, <clears throat> uh, but it needs a proper handle, it needs a proper handle on there, let's have a look, yeah, maybe a latch here and a latch there, pretty good, okay let's do the top, actually no, Let's do the feet first. So let's get four of those. Uh, these will do. Something, something along these lines. Um, just that, yeah. Okay. We need four feet. That's what I'm doing this for. One, two, three, four. Let's just see if these screws go through. No, good. I don't want to split this wood. Uh, there's a chance of me splitting this wood. I'm going to do it very, very softly. I do it too hard because these are quite thick screws. This wood would definitely split. So we just do it. Thin. You don't want to do it. 
definitely want thinner screws to do this. Ah, oh, you see, see that? Ugh. That's a problem. Having big thick screws, that happens. Do I care? No, I don't care. It won't look as nice, but whatever. It's on the floor. No one's going to see it. Okay, that's a shame. Anyway, whatever. Right, now we just need to make the roof because it's got holes in this. Uh, this needs to be waterproof really. It does, it's not the end of the world. It is actually. Quite a lot of water will go through that. So. Fern, have a look. Let's have a look. 40. What do we need this? 43. 43, that's pretty easy. Be careful with the standing knife. Uh, very careful. I've cut myself lots of times. 43. Let's do it a bit bigger and I can cut the sides off. Would it 45? Would it 45? And then we'll do it 45. And then we'll do it 45. Better to be slightly too big and slightly too small. And that. Yes. Okay. Good. Hammer. How many of these do you think we need? Not that many, really. We do the corners. I hate these things. Fiddly little buggers. All right, Fern, I'll be with you in a minute. I better put a decent amount in. Talking to me, hmm? Hey, is it because I'm not playing with you, Fern? We're in one place, not running around a place. Let me do this, and we're going to play. Too big, too big for this. I don't think we need to do any in the middle. Around the edges is just fine. And we'll 
we'll cut the top off. The excess. Which will be fine. There's one hedgehog house. Come on, get in. And one more. Good. Right. Let's cut let's cut the bottom of it off. Alright. <clears throat> Back bit. Shit. That come off. Good. One more side. Good. Finished. <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. Was that 15, 20 minutes? 20 minutes, I think. Not bad. One hedgehog house, that is solid. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. So you've got a felt roof. Keep it dry. We've got a nice little gap. That's 13 centimetres. That's probably 14, 15, so... Nice gap, go in there, make a nest for the hedgehog. Feet the bottom, stop the bottom rotting. And we have a little trap door, but we need a proper, a proper hinge on this, proper handle, but it works to clean it out. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Hey, phone. Oh, yeah, okay, that's it, is it? You like that? Make it all nice and dirty. Perfect phone, thank you very much. That was perfect and brand new. Okay, whatever. Good. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll stop it here and we do it and so... Show you the finished product. Are you going to stay on there? You're going to, you're going to do a, a model? Go on then. Okay, okay. What are you going to do? 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 We're done now. Ah... <laughs> 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 okay, let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> Get off.